Finn here and welcome back to another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. And um, I know, I know you guys, I know I can hear you guys that you don't want this. But again, um, kind of running out of ideas lately I guess, but I guess not. But I guess I'm having a little bit problems with my recording thing lately and uh, I fixed it. So right now you can definitely tell that this can definitely, you know record very well now so I did some few tests and I'm all set to go so um yeah and uh, it's been a while I haven't done any Doki Doki Literature Club stuff these days so I decided why not I'll uh, I'll try my best to finish this series as fast as possible and we'll get back to some Minecraft but don't worry I'll get back to some more Minecraft stuff so don't worry I'll be finishing this one first and then we'll get into well more Minecraft after Doki Doki Literature Club so um Please, for the love of Blob, I hope you guys understand this, I just really want to get this over with, so I really don't want to lose subscribers and stuff, so if you don't wanna, if you don't want any of these in my channel at all, then I guess so, then I don't know, I'll just stop making my, um, anime content, but if you guys are interested in seeing me do more anime stuff like this one, I know it's not anime, but Still, if you want to see me play more visual novel games, you know, well, suggest me some good ones and I'll check them out for myself. So, um, yeah, uh, before I begin this episode, be sure to leave a like, comment down for more stuff like this if you want to see me play more games like this in the future in this channel, feel free to do so. And um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, it really does help me out. And uh, click on the bell notification to see more videos in this channel to be notified and uh, yeah so let's go guys um i'm working so hard for 1k here so yeah i know that's definitely my thing so i'm slowly working hard for it so yeah <laughs> i'll stop talking right now and you guys know what time it is what time is it it's doki doki time <laughs> phew guess that's everyone i glance around the room that was a little bit more stressful than I anticipated, as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Not bad, actually. I mean, I did well, didn't I? So, there's that. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange seat sheets of paper, sharing their perspective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns a poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, things. Yours is cute. Cute? <laughs> Did it completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? Do you mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it didn't really come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who really liked it, which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it, and Fit did too. So based on that, I'll gladly gladly give you suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I spent long a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Mm -hmm. And Finn liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh, I didn't realize you were invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? That's not what I. Where's this going? Ooh, you're you're just. Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Finn appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you th 
how and how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I I sorry. Mark <laughs> My my nose is a little bit runny, so forgive me. No. If I was full of myself, I would have deliberately got out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Who? <laughs> um is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one who's magically grew a size is bigger. <laughs> oh my god! I can't say that! I can't say that! Oh my goodness! I, oh my god, I can't say that! I can't say that! You, you, you know what, even though I can't say it, I'll just censor it anyway, so... You, you, you know what I mean, guys, but... You know what I mean, whatever, but still, oh my goodness. Not so key. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Why are you bringing that up, bruh? Natsuki? Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! Oh, yeah, yeah, Monica, this doesn't involve you, get out of here. I don't like fighting, guys. But suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they noticed I was just standing there. Really? You have to bring up that kind of thing just because I came here for? Bruh, Natsuki, you sneaky little little girl, really. Finn, she's, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to s appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. There's a point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason. The meaning should jump out of the reader, not force them to have, fi have to figure it out. Kind of. I mean, kind of. But still, um, you have to figure it out for yourself. I mean, that's their point of perspective, I'd say. Help me explain that to her, Finn. W wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right Finn? Um, well, uh, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whomever I agree with, they probably think more highly of, my, of me. So of course that's going to be uh I can tell opinions or something, but I have to cheer up for Natsuki. Uh break. <coughs> Besides uh complex complex and then simple. You know what? Yeah, sure, uh You know what? Let's go for Natsuki. Um, Yuri, you're really talented. Eh? Well, but Natsuki has a point. I think that I rack my brain in an attempt to back myself up. I think that conveying feelings with a few words can just be oppressive as well. It lets the reader's imagination take over, and Natsuki's poem did a really good job at that. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Haha. <sighs> Shows how much you know. That's, that's not. Natsuki. I think that's enough. Huh? Me? But she was so mean to me. Natsuki voice whines. Look, what we talked about yesterday was right. Writing is a really personal thing, and sharing it can be definitely hard. Looks like we learned that today. Even small criticism can lead to something pretty heated. I glance over to my shoulder. Sayori is nodding vigorously. Yeah, so you don't need to feel threatened. You're a great writer, Natsuki. Ah, uh, Natsuki voice gets caught in surprise. Thanks for noticing. She finally mutters that, barely audible. Yuri, hmm? Yuri looks at me dejectedly. The face like that, I can't help but feel bad for her as well. I'm sure that Natsuki didn't mean anything she said, so you don't need to feel threatened either. Well, if you say so. Hey, it's not like you need to apologize for me, Finn. Sheesh. Natsuki takes a breath. A breath. Uh, the thing about who. Natsuki glances around. Would everyone stop staring at me? 
Uh, that's so freaking awkward. Surpri unsurprisingly, Natsuki has a harder time with it, and she boasted. Teriori and Monica look away. Hmm. Anyway, thing about your... I can't say that. I, I didn't mean it, okay? That's all. Natsuki looks away, avoiding eye contact with anyone. Yeah, you're naturally beautiful, Yuri. Sayori? Oh no, she's embarrassed of herself. Oh boy. I'll go make some tea. Eh? I was just trying to help. I'm sure she appreciated Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. Well, now that we're past that, everyone's read, everyone's read each other's poems, right? I hope that it was worthwhile for everyone, especially you, Finn. And to be honest, it's a nice change of pace from leaving from the lazing round we got a little too used to. <laughs> uh, so my joining the club was responsible for ruining the atmosphere. No, not at all, not at all. There's still time before we go home. So we'll all relax for a bit. Of course, besides chatting, we do literature related things in the club room. So maybe you can take a chance to pick up a book and do some writing. After all, that's what the club is for. I disagree, Monica. Eh? About what? That's not the most important thing about the literature club. The most important thing is having fun. <laughs> of course. Of course! You just have fun, right? Just have fun. Well, I guess that's why you're the vice president, Sayori. <laughs> In the end, though, Monica's right. Being in the literature club probably means I can't spend all my time doing nothing. But in the end, I guess it's worth it so far. Exactly, just have fun, right? Just have fun, and of course, enjoy while it lasts. That's what they said, right? Just just have fun, guys. Have fun, and enjoy. Okay, everyone, it's just about time for us to leave. How did you feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright, well, mostly. Finn, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about everything about with everyone. Awesome! In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe learn something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. Uh... I think to myself that I, I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better impressing... What to impress. I nod to myself with newfound de determination. Finn, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Hehehe. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It's truly really been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori? But what happened earlier? Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that make that. Th Does that kind of thing happen too often? Or not too often, I meant often. No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Finn, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing with you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. Uh, looks like Sayori still hasn't caught into the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does that really need to stop there? We'll just see. If, we'll just have to see what the future holds. Sayori, pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Okay. Hey, yeah. Let's do this. Home time. Alright, let's see what we can do here, I think. Uh... Oh, alright. What? Okay, where's the... Okay, now, I got, got, now we're going somewhere. Uh, romance, uh, what else here? Man, this is gonna be a bit of a pain. 
Okay, so far so good. Uh, smile, memories, sweet, and all right. I guess we have more Sayori uh, things there, so that's that's that. <clears throat> no, sorry for about that one, guys. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little bit more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi Finn. Yo Sayori. Looks like you're in a good mood today. Hehe. <laughs> I'm just still not used to you being in the club. That's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kinda hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. Eh? That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. I don't want to take a look at your purse, Sayori. Eh? Why that all of a sudden? No reason, really. I have my reason. I'm pretty sure it's going to be that she's going to be broke, isn't she? I'm pretty sure she's going to be broke. Actually, you know what? Let me save my progress here. There you go. I just wanted to look at it. Uh... Sayori, Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and spread its, lets its contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall, fall out. Okay, I called it. She's definitely, she's definitely broke. <laughs> I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. How did you even know? Simple. If you have enough money in the first place, you wouldn't have bought a snack before coming into the club room. So either you're not hungry and wanted to take, and wanted an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forgot that you spent all your money so that I could lend you some. But there's one thing: you're you're always hungry. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, but my girlfriend is always hungry, so might be wrong. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. I don't know. And so that only leaves the one option. <laughs> I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face was in her book as always. Ah, I wasn't listening or anything. I was just oh, something in my book. Yuri, feel free to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford and frankly after pulling a mischievous little slump like that your suffering is fair enough retribution ah did i just i didn't mean it like that i got to absorb into my book who <laughs> i really like when you speak your mind yuri it doesn't happen much but it's a fun side of you that's there's no way you could think of that or think that you're right though, I did something bad and I have to accept a revolution. Retribution. That! Ugh! Excuse me. Still, coming from you, Sayori, I guess there's a little devil inside of, of inside all of us, isn't there? I mean, true, there's a, a bad side of us, so there's, there's balance. <laughs> Don't let her fool you, Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club. Before she even told me, but but you wouldn't come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> ah, flap, flap. I didn't say that, did I? Yeah. Out of nowhere, something smacks her in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Oh, what was? Eh, a cookie. Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances around. Is this a miracle? <laughs> Is this a miracle suddenly when you notice a giant cookie on the desk and be like, Oh! Cookie gods! Cookie gods! <laughs> yeah, I gotta thank the cookie gods here, I guess, but okay. It's because I paid my restitution. Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> I was just gonna give it to you. But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally s worth seeing your reaction though. 
Natsuki, that's so nice of you. I'm so happy. Sayori hugs the cookie. Please just eat it. Sayori rapidly op tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good. <laughs> Sayori suddenly claps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue. Hehe, <laughs> you're going through a lot over just one cookie. Sayori takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah, oh, yours is really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez, beggars can't be choosers. Choosing beggars. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy you shared this one with me. <laughs> Terry gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. Ah, jeez, I get it, I get it. Cookie still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off her. Um, Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a bite out of Natsuki's, Natsuki's cookie. Hey, did you seriously just do that? <laughs> Mouthful, Sayori trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori- Eh? Natsuki glances around. Not Monica isn't in the uh, <coughs> club room. Uh, where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm, that's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She probably had something to do today. She'll be popular after all. Eh? You don't think she... She has a... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She probably... More desirable than all of us combined. <laughs> that's true. Excuse me? Only the door swings open. Hey, uh, you know what? <coughs> let's uh, let's keep going here. It's only the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Uh, let me see that here. Okay. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica chose <laughs> chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. Boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Don't look at me, Monica. Don't look at me. No. Ah, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Ah, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of lost track of time. Haha, <laughs> that makes no sense though. You would have heard the, rail the bell ring at least. I must have not heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Uh, I don't really. I kind of just started recently. I always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool. You should have played something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe I get... I. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Finn. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah. Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Uh, don't worry, I've been practicing a whole lot recently, and I really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks! So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not not really. I chose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. Looks like everyone has settled down. Alright. I guess I'm gonna end this episode right here, so yeah. Alright, so I guess I'll end this episode here, so we'll definitely be continuing this in the uh, the next episode where we're gonna share some poems and stuff. So uh thank you guys so much for watching. Um like I said in the beginning of the video, please, please, please like the video, share with a friend, and of course comment down for more stuff if you want to see me play more of this in the future just let me know i really want to hear some suggestions whatever like whatever just go ahead um yeah so uh <coughs> i definitely uh, need to uh, take a break after recording this so um yeah um it's been a while i it's been a while i haven't made any episode or any, any videos lately this november so i'm back and um don't worry i'll be back into making minecraft videos later on or later maybe soon whatever so <laughs> anywho uh thank you guys all so much for watching stay awesome love you all finn the diamond knight signing off see you guys next time so see you guys next time on doki doki literature club